think so, huh? Well, haven't I? I'd just like to stay with you forever and ever. Maybe your daddy told you my oil well looks good, huh? Bob, how ever can you say such a thing? Oh, I was only kidding. Hey, the beginning of the crew of Rex. The crew? Yeah, they're the clubs that conduct the carnival. country in the world. Where's that? Swampland, bayou country, jungle. I didn't know there was such a thing around here. I sure would like to go and see that jungle with you. No, oh, I doubt that. That's real wild country for such a pretty young lady. I guess those are just the horrors of being with a wildcat oil man. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet you don't think I could take it. Maybe. But I could. Think so? Why don't you let me prove? Honey, I could do anything as long as I was with you. Do you want to go to the bayou? Mm hmm. You think your daddy will let you? Oh, he'll let me do anything with you. He thinks that you're going. <laughs> he thinks that you're just wonderful. Yeah, we might try it at that. Come on, let's go. Honey, will we go into the bayou all alone? Just the two of us? No, baby, we'll have to have a guide. Oh, you can find your way without any old guide. I'm not sure I'd live to tell the tale. Come on, let's go. What's the matter? I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean to scare you, little girl. And don't jump out and start calling people. Be a sport, will you, pal? Be a sport. 
Give me a little money for a cup of coffee. Hmm? Sure. Here, buy yourself a dozen cups. Black. Sixty, I guess. And you can pick it up at the station house. Look, there's no sense in turning him in. I should have had him figure. The Mardi Gras rough enough without having guys like this around. I don't know who you think I am, but all I do is I have How many floats did I miss, baby? Oh, Bob, honey, you're just so strong and big and brave. I don't know what I'd do without you. My little Bayou baby, huh? <laughs> Yes, Lieutenant. I'll call him your here. Say, lady, just like can I risk the guy for having a couple of drinks during my drunk? Of course, officer, he's not drunk. I am, too. Oh, no, you're not. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to take this away from me so cleverly. If I were drunk, I wouldn't have been able to take it back. Captain Goodrich will see you now. Thank you. Officer, spoken. There's really something. A little above and beyond the line of duty. Huh? It certainly is. So's your plan, Lee. It might work, Captain. You do realize if it doesn't work, what's likely to happen to you? Yes, sir. But the longer we do nothing, the harder it is in the police department. People are critical. We've gone through that before. The Narno Diamonds have been missing for three years. The Narno men died in the electric chair, and their women are in prison. And where the diamonds are, nobody knows. Yes, the public has their ideas on that subject. Seems to me we have to find them. Lee, you're probably the finest policewoman I've ever known. Thank you, sir. You're right, and your plan's right. Josie Nardo and those other girls are bound to know where the diamonds are. Of course they do. So, if we put you in prison, you escape with the Nardo girls, you'll know where the diamonds are. I think you'll stick around and tell us what you find out. <laughs> what do you think you ought to send me to jail for? Bravery. You'll vote here in barracks C with the Nardo girls on the second floor. Any electric alarms in the window? No. Now the fence is here, a direct line. Mm. And the car? A car behind this clump of trees. Every night? Every night. You pick your own time of departure. Sooner the better. It's got to be shooting, Lee. We'll miss. I hope so. And you're going to be pursued. Unsuccessfully, of course. And from there, they take me to the diamonds. 
I'll give you all the protection I can. We've got to be careful. The slightest suspicion, they'll kill you. Yes, sir. Sergeant Morrison will take you to the prison tomorrow morning. Thank you, sir. You're taking on a mighty big job, Lee. I guess I can't resist my share of the diamonds, sir. Good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Do you out of here? Do I? I'll leave her alone. Stay out of this. Leave her alone. She got in my way. Want to knock somebody around? Try your own size. Like who? Me. Why don't you shut up? Well, if you two ain't a sight for sore eyes. I don't know about your eyes, but I sure got a sore back. Not from working. What's up, Josie? Well, oh, just thought I'd drop around. Get yourself put in the brig for being down here. And you may be a trustee. Huh. We got a new roommate. Oh, boy, they sure like to make trouble for us, don't they? She's crazier than a bed bug. How can you tell? She's only been here three hours. She wants to go over the wall. Huh. Don't sound so crazy to me. Oh, we let her climb over the wall, they shoot her, and we're rid of her. Cut out that talking in there. Who can I take me in Move it. Shut up. Oh, both of you, shut up. Don't you know we're very hard to get along with? Well, I wasn't thinking of a pleasure trip. Oh, what were you thinking of? Suicide? No. The Nardo Diamonds. <laughs> Wouldn't you just like to get your hands on them? Wouldn't you? Look, we've been in there for three lousy years. What makes you think right away you can crash this joint? Well, I did something you three girls didn't do. Man, I didn't think we'd miss nothing. Such as what? On my way in, I planned a way out. <laughs> just like that? Yeah. Get off of here. Bring me that case of tea. What makes you so sure we'll split with you? What makes you sure that I'll take you with me? How do you know the car will be there? He'll be there. Who's putting it there? None of your business. That's all. Boy, she sure thinks she's hot. I think she is, too, if she can get us out of here. We've been doing a little planning, too. It's a long drop. What's the matter? No guts. It takes more than guts. So after we make the drop, we need your car. How much are the diamonds worth? Well, any bandit will give us 200 grand. Can you find them? I can find them. I get 50 grand. Yeah, 50 grand. If you get there and back. All right, girls.
Get it, I'll drive. Man, we made it! What's that term? Where do we go from here? We're losing them. Turn left, half mile up, Louis Place. Louis Blanc? Yeah. Hey, you think he'll give us something decent to wear and some lipstick? Good enough for where we're going. And giving up. Boy, I sure do wish I could have taken a couple of shots at them. Josie, you think Louis will give us a couple of guns? He will if he knows what's good for him. How long do you think it's going to take us, Josie? Well, with a couple of days with the boys, I don't see how we can do much better. On foot? On foot, it'd take about a couple of years. Louie will give us a boat. We got a few things on Louie. What's on your mind? Nobody has any guns yet. If it weren't for me, you'd all rot in jail. I want to make sure I get that 50 grand. We keep bargains. I just thought I'd tell you. I'm a good shot. If you try anything, I'll kill all three of you. And if you try something, we'll kill you. to spring a leak. If I ever see that lousy Louie again, I'll break his neck. Josie, what do we do now? Hitch a ride, I guess. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, look over there. What's your problem, girls? Bob, honey, I'm frightened. What do they want? Just the boat. Pulled into shore. Now, wait a minute. What do you think this is? We go to boat. <laughs> What's the matter with you, you crazy? Why'd you do that? There shouldn't be any shooting. What's the matter, you chicken? In case you want to know, shots make noise, and noise carries. There's no reason why we should attract any more attention than we have to. Says who? She's got a point. Now quit the fighting. Give her back her gun. All right. No hard feelings. 
That's what you think. That's what I think. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You could have killed him. Well, we didn't, did we? Oh, we should have. We didn't see much else we can do. Well, I'll just wait till he wakes up so he'll know what hit him. Maybe I better not. Oh, hold it. Will you let me alone? You're crazy for that gun. Knock it off. You got a better suggestion? Yeah, hold them both as hostages. Well, we got a long trip ahead of us. We might run into trouble. I'd like something to bargain with, and they do. Diamonds and guns ain't enough of a bargain? Get that piece of rope over there. Oh, get it yourself. She's right. We better tie him up. Come on, hurry there. I could kind of go for him. Nice enough looking. Wonder who he is. Couldn't be a friend of yours, could he? You know, I got a feeling you don't like me. You know, I got a feeling you're right. You okay? I guess so. What's the story? Man, don't you read the papers? Once in a while. Ever heard of the Nardo gang? Yeah. Heard they're a pretty rough group. You just remember that. Okay, Red. Oh, Bob, honey. What are they going to do to us? Shut up. She's got a good question. What are you going to do? Stick around, then you'll know, too. Kidnapping, maybe? If you're lucky. What's your name? Bob. Bob Matthews. Not worth much in his kidnapping game. Yeah, that's very discouraging. That's your wife? No. Just a friend. Some friend. Look, if you don't stop your crying, I'll give you something to cry about. Yeah. One more girl we don't need. What can I do for you? We had a leaky boat with no motor. Anyway, we like yours better. And you're off on a cruise, huh? Yeah. Why'd you have to kill a guide? Self-defense. I see. Well, come on, let's get going. Head up, stream, keep her down the middle. hurting you. Hand me the salt. She's hurting me if I say she is and she gives me a pain. The alligator's back there. Big ones? 
Well, big enough I wouldn't like to stick my foot on top of one in the dark. This minute, you ready? In a few minutes. Josie, how much longer you figure it'll take us to get there? Oh, a couple of days, day and a half. We're lucky. Man, I hope I live long enough to get my hands on them diamonds. Well, they sure are holding us up plenty. They may be worth it. For what? We'll see. Ah, we'll see, we'll see. Look, if I bother you, go somewhere else. Oh, cut it! Cut it, I said! Look, nobody talks to me like that. I'll kill that damn... You're killing nobody. Now stop it. Some of us aren't going to get out of here alive. Food's ready. Unless you'd rather fight than eat. Ah, oh, shut up. Take this over to them. What if we don't have enough? We've got enough. Oh, that thing makes me sick. <laughs> Please, I want to talk to you. Talk to yourself. <laughs> what do I do now? Feed him? Why not? Sometimes hands bleed through. Enjoy yourself. What's for dessert? Boy, you just can't keep away from him, can you? Better not being able to get near him. Would like a drink? Man, who wouldn't? Take a look at my blanket over there. You're kidding! <laughs> It's not enough to slow us up tomorrow. Boy, three years is a long time to be in the jug. Hallelujah! Hey, give me some too, you pig. <laughs> Come on, bring it over here. <laughs> Josie, this is crazy. So it's crazy. <laughs> Lotto girls never run around in pants like a bunch of boys. That's right. Really, these guys act mean. Yeah, then we'll just cut off her knees. <laughs> oh, hey, Bear. I want mine cut off a little shorter. Do it yourself. Maybe he goes for girls in little blue sweaters. Please leave me alone. Look, leave me alone and I'll, I'll give you anything. Like what? Listen, just get me out of here, honey, and I'll give you whatever you want. How much? Whatever you want. A thousand? Ten. And your boyfriend? You buying him too? I don't care. Just get me out of here. <laughs> My daddy will give you whatever you want. Hear that, handsome? Your girlfriend's trying to buy a way out, but she doesn't care what happens to you. Isn't that right? Yes, just get me out of here. Oh, I wouldn't wear your lousy sweater if you gave it to me. <laughs> nice kid. Still a man right down the river. Boy, I sure miss Nikki. Yeah. Joey, Mike. You can just forget about missing Mike. Would we have a ball with those diamonds if the guys were still with us? Well, I'm going to have a ball without them. I'm going to go down to Mexico, and I'm going to buy myself a town. <laughs> You're drunk. What do you want with a town? <laughs> I may be drunk. I'm going to buy a town, I'm going to buy everybody in it, and I'm going to order them around the rest of my life. You got a better idea? I got a better idea. That's the best idea. Got to find me his doctor, and have him change my whole face around. Cut it up. You ain't that ugly. Ain't ugly at all, you know it. But I ain't gonna look like me no more. I'm gonna get the old little address book. And I'm gonna start with the judge first to set the guys to the chair. And all the folks in the jury. And I'm gonna lost them all up. 
How do you mean? Could have break up all their happy loaves. Yeah, make their wives hate them. Their kids. Yeah, I'm gonna love them all up. <laughs> Good for you. What are you going to do, Josie? Well, I'll tell you, I got a plan. I'm going to get me a big house south of the border. I'm going to rent rooms to everybody that's on the lamp. The old lady in the shoe. Sure, why not? I figure I can make a good living and make plenty of trouble for the cops at the same time. How about you, Lee? Oh, I don't want to cause no trouble for nobody. I just want to be by myself, that's all. A lone wolf. I can't trust him. I'll take the first watch. Guess he's not going any place. Thanks for the drink. Sure can hold plenty of it. You don't do so bad yourself. this dessert? Shh. Keep it quiet. What can I do for you? Anything you like. What if I don't like? You will. You dirty little dumb broad! What's going on here? She was after him. I'd like to know what you were doing over here. Oh. Same as she was after Mike the night they caught us. I'll oh, kill her. Shut up, both of you. Go get some sleep. Now cut out the fighting, because next time I'm going to knock you both cold. Get going. Stay out of trouble, mister. I'll kill you. I haven't got much of a choice. No, you haven't. Sorry for what? 
sorry for not saving your life. Making you risk your life. Yes, every available man. I want that entire area surrounded. Tell any man that gets too close, I'll personally break him. Slightest suspicion, Lieutenant Hampton's through. Yeah? No, only one helicopter. Personally tell the pilot not to get too close. He mustn't hover over the scene. What's the matter with that unit on the left? All right, pull them back. We must not risk being seen. Josie, how many more thousand miles we got to go? About five more miles. Rough, I don't want to try it at night. Let's stop at the first good place. Are you sure you can find them? You could blindfold me and I can find them. I sure would have liked some help to bend the loop. <laughs> if Nicky was here, he'd be ordering you around, just like he always did. You know what? I miss being told what to do. Oh, that looks like a good place. We'll pull in there. For us. How do you figure we're going to get the diamonds out of here? Take a powder. Sure I can't help you? I think we can manage without you. Get lost. Too bad, nice guy. Huh. He's nothing. Hey, any chance of promoting a drink of water? I'll get him some. Have a drink. Don't mind if I do. I don't get it. You will. Just what is it with you? Thanks. We gotta get some wood before it gets dark. I'll get some. They mustn't hear. Why don't you tell me the story of your life? Before I went into crime? You were never in it. Well, don't tell my friends. Are you all right? Oh, sure, just great. Wrist sore? Not too sore. Try that again and I'll kill you. Now what's going on? Oh, I was just checking his ropes for the night and he tried to get fresh. You sure it wasn't your idea? I'm sure. Well, I'll check him. How's that? He didn't have to cut off his hands. Says who? Cut it out, you two. Looks like your buddy here kind of goes for this guy. I always notice you're around to protect him. So what? So I don't like it, that's all. I think there's something between them. Better stay away from him. That's no strain. That game gripes me. Well, knock it off and let's get some shut-eye. Yeah, sure, Warden. You're gonna go for that dame, don't you? Bother you, Red. I wouldn't. Well, that could be improved. Yeah? Says who? Hey, isn't Vera coming in? Nah. She's still asleep. She must think we're working. Hey, you! Get out of here! Beat it! Nice morning for a swim. Josie, get him out of here! But, Billy, I thought you liked him. It's different in the daylight. Wouldn't you like to go for a swim, Bob? Josie, I told you, make him go away! 
They say the water's fine. She's only kidding. I am not. Any chance of getting my hands untied? Maybe. Josie, make him go away. Make him go away. I think you better go back to camp. Well, I guess you're outvoted, Josie. Thanks anyway. I wish you could, too. Hurry up! If I weren't tied, we could jump him now. What makes you think I want to? You do. If one of us were wounded, we'd never get out of here alive. Why don't you let me in on the secret? 
So where do you figure in this? I'm just an average American crook. Josie's watching. Found the shovel! And shut up and bring it. Here's the shovel. Oh, I feel something. It's right here. I can feel it. Watch out with that thing. Ah, who needs it? I've got it. Oh, take some more on that end. I got my hand in it. I'll watch it now. All right. Here it comes. Pull it up. Pull it up. Uh, there it is. Man, that's what I'm here for. Oh, you and me both. Well, open it, Josie. Open it up. Here, I'll do it. Now, hold it. You want to upset the thing? Now, stand back. Watch it, Billy. You got it. Now, wait a minute. Hold it. Well, I got to... I bet you couldn't bring yourself to do a quarter of the digging. Easiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, man, it's raining diamonds. Look, you can just wait till you get your own share to rain oh, with. Oh, you can cut it out knocking me around now that I'm rich. Look, you're asking you for it. No! Oh. natural. No, you're not such a bad guy. You're okay yourself, Josie. Too bad you're so square. I never could figure you legit, guys. Guess I was just brought up wrong. Be careful, mister. I don't like to be laughed at. What's the matter? Oh, Mr. Big Mouth. You have to hit him when his hands are tied? I'd hate to hit him when they wasn't. Let's get going. That suits me. Man, I'd like to get out of this dump. Well, there ain't much you can do around here with or without diamonds. Hey, Josie, you figure they got the swamp surrounded looking for us? Oh, they surround us all right, but they got a big area to surround. We'll get out of here, unless you want to stay here. I think I'll go to Alaska and sit on one of them glacier things for a month of Sundays. So if you were up there, then you'd want to come back here again. Here's one place I'd never want to come back to. Unless somebody buries some more diamonds for me. Josie, how much you figure they're worth? Oh, half a million. I told you what the fence said. It'll at least give us 200 grand. 
Yeah, I'm sure going to see him. Two hundred grand. Man, that's a lot of loot. You said it. I guess that's fifty grand a piece, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't sound like so much that way. Guess it'll have to do. You know, that Vera's a mean dame. With that gun of hers, I bet she gets herself into trouble before she ever gets a chance to spend it. So that's her problem. I could sure do without that Lee, too. She thinks she's so smart. You don't like nobody tonight, do you? Josie, how'd you like to have a hundred grand apiece instead of fifty? I'd like it. Listen, Josie, it wouldn't be any trouble to get rid of them, too. Yeah. Then you and me could split even. A hundred grand apiece. Are you sure you wouldn't like that whole two hundred grand all for yourself? Oh, Josie, you know I wouldn't do nothing well, to you. you. Dirty, dumb little two-timer. I don't know nothing about you except that you make me sick. Look, we came into this four ways, and that's the way we're going out, unless you'd like to try something, get yourself out of the deal. Now get out of here before I break your dirty little neck. But Josie, get out of here. <laughs> It's okay, Billy. Go back to sleep. When you got there. I don't want to kill you. I really don't want to kill you. I've got the diamonds. And the guns. You come with me and don't make a sound. She didn't take the boat. Why did she take Bob? Couldn't you see she was crazy about him? I guess so. Come on, let's go. Where? Well, after her. Where else? Now, wait a minute. 
Vera's smart and she's clever. There's got to be a reason why she didn't take that boat. Yeah. Why didn't she? Seems to me she wanted us to come running after her. You can't let her get away. Well, I'm not about to go running into a bullet either. I don't know how she did it. First thing we've got to do is find out where she's at. But how? And we'd better see her before she sees us, because she'll kill us. Just like that? Well, I guess the first thing is to find their trail. see where they went. She probably held a gun on him. Remember I told you she wasn't no good. It wasn't exactly a surprise to me. Look, if she went through this mess, I guess we can too. Now remember, if she sees us, we're dead, so keep it quiet. Okay. Josie, what are we going to do when we find her? Oh, beats me. Well, then why do we have to? Oh, let's do one thing at a time. Come on. play this game. Until it's over. Behind here. How did she ever get up in that tree? She's there, all right. But how did she ever get up there with all those guns? If I know Vera, she's got them lined up like a shooting gallery. Looks like Bob's okay. Sure she goes for him. We could spread out and rush her from three sides. That's exactly what she expects us to do. Is she a good shot? She can hit anything she can see. Yeah, if we were to rush out there, we'd all three be dead before we could reach her. What are we going to do? I don't know. Let me think a minute. Now, she figures that she can shoot us, but we can't shoot her. We've got nothing to shoot her with. That's right. So if we could shoot her, the surprise would be on our side. Yeah, that'd be a real surprise, all right. Come on, I've got an idea. make these when I was a kid. Got a couple of rats with them once. Sure hope you can get one more. How far do you think you can throw it? I'm not exactly the smallest girl in the class. Now you two girls circle around. And then when I whistle like I told you, get her to take a shot at you. You gotta get her to take a shot at you, but don't do it so good you get yourself killed. Understand? We'd better. And I sure hope you can throw that thing. I do too. Now go on.
I got her. Come on. She's dead. Are you okay? A lot better than I was. She's dead, all right. Real dead. I'm a fool. That snake almost got you. There's one thing I can't stand at snakes. Can't you get rid of it? I didn't care much for this one either. Another second and I'd have been dead. She shot it? Yeah. Before the spear got her? No, afterwards. Last thing she did before she fell. She always was a good shot. Funny thing. She always wanted to kill, kill anything. And the last thing she did was save his life. Uh -uh. The last thing she did was kill a snake. Chances are probably waiting for us. It's going to get dark pretty soon. I want to see when I get out of here. Come on, Mister. Well, let's see what you got to see. I'm not interested in how you lost those girls. I'm only interested in finding them again. By now, they've probably gotten to the jewels. The slightest suspicion, and they'd just as soon kill Lieutenant Hampton as look at her. It doesn't matter now whether we're seen or not. The important thing is to make contact. Sure, it's a big jungle, but we've got a big force out there, haven't we? Now get on up and let's make that contact. All right. Dick, come in here, will you? I can hardly wait to get to that fence and turn these diamonds into spending money. Yeah, me too. How much is it cut three ways now? Huh, Josie? Seems to me you'd like to get to that fence too, Lee. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I got one of my own. Oh? Well, maybe he could give me a better price for me and Billy. Well, I guess they all pay about the same. You never know. How would I get in touch with him? I'd rather keep that to myself. Well, that's a fine way to act after all we've done for you. It hasn't been a one-way street, you know. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't think it's very... Forget it, Billy. Well, we should be out of here in a couple of hours. It's sure going to seem funny without you ordering me around, Josie. It's going to seem funny without you and Vera squabbling all the time, too. Yeah. Sure will. Expecting someone? Aren't you? They probably got this whole jungle surrounding. Yeah, maybe. Poor old Vera. She should have let that snake get Bob. What do you mean? Save us the trouble. Oh, Josie, can't you think of no other way? He's cute. He may be cute, but as long as he can dock, we got a couple extra murder rats. Look, why don't, why don't you just tie him up and leave him? Why should we? We're close to the edge of the jungle. A gun shall bring whoever's looking for us a running. What makes you so sure somebody's looking for us? You sure don't like gunshots, do you? Not when they attract attention and get us caught. You don't like them when they kill anybody, either. No, not especially. I wonder if you've got any guts. She sure don't like to see nobody get hurt. Not when it's not necessary. Seems to me that this one's necessary. But the sound will bring them. There won't be any sound. Would you like to try it? Why should I? It's not my idea. Might make us all feel a little closer. Yeah. Why should we be the only ones with a murder rap on our heads? Make me feel like I could trust you. Okay. Give me your gun. Why should I? I'll kill him for you if you want. Give me the knife. It's just a little late. Give me your gun.
Can you untie me? Before you do, I'm gonna have to take you in. I'll go. It's the police boat. Don't worry. I'll stand by you. 